I used to feel cheated because I'd been born 10 years too late to, un to appreciate the late 60s and the early 70s and, you know, yes. flower power <laughs> and great music, the Beach Boys and Dylan and the Beatles and the Stones, and it just goes on and on and on, right? And I used to feel, as a writer, because, I, because the idea of having other people doing the same, in the same area of, as you, but stealing each other's ideas because they're brilliant ideas and just all kind of, um, that whole period of time, I used to feel cheated of that. And now I realize I'm just so lucky not to have been born 10 years later when there was nothing really left. You know, when it was PWL and, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, when did it start? It started with all the Kylie stuff in the late, late 80s or whatever. But I now realize I'm one of the lucky few that were born within a 20 year period that changed the world. But you think the industry has taken over the heart? Oh, I haven't, I haven't, I think music in the music industry and the radio has been almost what you would call heartless for a good 10 years. And I, I, I think, I genuinely believe that strength of emotion has been pushed gradually out of radio because strength of emotion could take, I, li I really believe this, if you hear a song, say you heard You've Been Loved or Jesus to a Child, mm. which you wouldn't these days, they wouldn't play Jesus to a Child now, but say you hear that song, it can take you somewhere. It might take you somewhere about something in your own life. It might, that it might move you incredibly. And you may miss the next ad. You may miss the next five ads because you're thinking about something else. That, I genuinely believe, is what's happened. Gradually, the American idea has been gradually, keep them happy, keep them buying, right? Whatever you do, don't distract them.